Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be Operation Bedrock number 55, or episode 55 in the Operation Bedrock series. And what we're going to do is pretty much with Operation Bedrock, for those who are new, Operation Bedrock is a series that pretty much takes place in Minecraft Xbox 360, and what we're going to do is that we're going to mine the entire world, or the server, however you want to call it, until there's just nothing but Bedrock left. Except for the floors, of course. We don't want to leave the Y-axis 4 alone so that we could actually walk and not have to jump around all the time. And this world was actually created pretty much in the since the beginning of Minecraft. I think it was like 1.6 is was called back then. Then I know we had 1.8.2, so on and so forth. I, do, I can never figure out what the actual thing is called. But it's been created since the beginning of Minecraft on the Xbox 360, so we don't have any strongholds, we don't have any mine shafts, we don't have any other things that could take away the spaces or chunks so pretty much it's a fresh brand new world type of deal so continuing on from here there's a lot of things I gotta work on like one thing is sense fillers a lot of people have been telling me that I've been saying way too many sense fillers I know a lot of them by heart at this point what can I say so yeah alrighty then moving on there's a lot of sense fillers I do say because I avoid saying uhs and ums. That's one of the things that everybody says. Like that's the default sense filler that everybody says. And you guys know for a fact that you said them too when you're talking to a person. You go uh and um when you talk to a person. But it's when you make a speech or a commentary where it makes the biggest impact. I have taken speech class. I got an A in that class, but that doesn't mean anything at all. It just means that I I don't even know why I said that in the begin with. I apologize. I've taken speech class and I've did well in speech class. That's what I should have said. <sighs> I need to, I need to remember what I the fundamentals of speech is now. But one of the things that they taught me in speech is that avoid sense fillers because what they do is pretty much it drones out your speech or what you're trying to say that people are figuring out that you don't know what to say and when you keep saying uh and uh and um and um and just you keep going through that with the entire speech people lose focus of what you're trying to say and then they just move on to something else if you don't say any of that you keep going at it then people will stay focused on what you're trying to say and they probably will learn something from there too depending on what you have to say and one of the things is that one of the one of the exercises that you could do to avoid saying uhs and ums is have a friend or a family member sit by you and every time you say uh and um during like a like what's it called a speech like you're practicing doing a speech they just pretty much make a loud noise like slamming their hand on the table so that it tells you that you need to stop and somehow in the back of your head or your brain will try to try to avoid that at all costs like you will pretty much condition yourself to avoid saying that so you could avoid hearing the loud noise again so that's one way to do it I didn't go through with that I just pretty much practice not saying us and ums I pace myself I try not to go too fast but even then I am a fast talker so this is why a lot of people are saying that you need to slow down I cannot hear or I cannot understand what you're trying to say so that's one of the other things I want to work on. Except if for a matter of fact that I have to speak fast. Because I had a friend who loves to speak fast. Or that's pretty much his normal pace. But he's been told again and again to slow down. And he has slowed down. And he can never actually talk as fast as he used to anymore. I really, like to, I really want to talk fast. Just for a fact that I could say something so fast that they can't understand what I'm trying to say. It's not like I'm mumbling, I'm saying it correctly, it's just I'm saying it so fast that they just can't pick it up. Because that'd be fun to do. That's a fun way to troll people. But hey, moving on from here. Sense filler. <laughs> you can never avoid them, but I could try at least. So what we're doing right here is that we're scouting. Just pretty much, I go to the, what's it called, the edge? of the 30 torch path and I just mine straight through so that I will take I'll take the what's it called I don't remember I'm gonna make a 3 by 2 tunnel so that I can place torches on the side so people will know where the edge is so they don't actually they don't actually accidentally is that right they don't accidentally mine 
further from the wall or they don't mess up in the tunnel so they don't go too far from where they need to be and of course we get lava and it's at pretty much this area so that we may get another void here I'm leaving all the lava lava spots alone for now so that I can check it out to see whether or not or if it's a void I will make a video to show you guys that it could possibly be a void and if it is a void then at least the lava would be a great visual to show you guys where you could possibly find a void at given that the only time we could find a void is pretty much where there is a lava pool I don't recall any type of water pools that show you a void so my guess is that you had to find a lava pool because the three three voids that we found have been all from a lava pool so that's where I'm getting my information from just based on experience all right so hopefully we'll find another void and I'll make a video about it and it'll be featuring with lava so at least you'll know now or at least it'll be visual proof that you can find a void if you find lava especially if it's at the bedrock level that's where you have to look for and there's no promises or guarantees that you'll actually find a void but if you want to look for one that's where you have to find one or that's how you find one little tutorial guide within an operation bedrock episode at least I'm keeping the commentary going it's kinda it's kinda, it's kinda hard I want to do a live commentary with operation bedrock but I gotta get enough of my friends online at the same time so that they could continue on with the conversation and then we'll figure out what other things to say careful man I don't want to hit you and now of course I keep forgetting about this a little bit of update about the diamonds I believe we found over 600 blocks of diamond and what I call blocks is the redstone blocks you see right there, that little square with the redstone on it. That's what I consider blocks. They're called ore, but I figured that ore is what comes out of the block. So that's how I tell the difference, for me at least, because I always get confused on calling it ore. I just leave it as that. I just call them blocks because it's in a block form. Easy peasy, right? So with the diamonds, we've at least found over 600 blocks of diamond and... I am, I am almost at a chest full of redstone. What I want to do is actually get 4,000 redstone blocks and just start mining it from there. See how many enchantment levels I can get and I'll make a video of it of course and it could be with live commentary or at least added on commentary because I want to try out the speed run effect or the fast forwarding effect of Adobe Premiere. See if that will work and if it does I'm going to be so happy that I could actually do a lot of speed videos so that for like a time lapse there you go time lapse videos that's what I was thinking of so of course I gotta check out with with where I have supposed where I'm supposed to stop which is X axis of 381 so that I know not to go too far in the tunnel or mess up the wall of the tunnel so yeah it's all it's all planning and a little bit of not say OCD but it just has to be done right some people say I don't have OCD I think I have OCD but I'm not even too sure of myself anymore there's a there's a thing called for every single thing that a person may or may not have and some people freak out over that I know for a fact that I do a lot of things that the way that I wanted it to be done so that if it doesn't work like that then I know whose fault it is just saying like if my friends do something else it's their fault if I do something and I have my friends or I tell my friends to do the same thing and something goes bad it's my fault oh my god lava just like that boop boop okay you just ate my torch meanie well at least we have a light source until that lava goes away it's gonna go away eventually I just hate the fact that it takes so long for lava to actually disappear it's not like water where it's just instant even though at some points there's some glitches with the water that there's always a water block that doesn't move anywhere I'm not too sure that if only the person that did it can see it or if everyone else can see it alright anyone know if Audacity can actually record Skype calls anyone who has Exper has been experienced with Audacity do you know if you can actually record Skype calls and if so how is the quality of the Skype calls I just need to know. If anything else, I'll download DX Tori and try that out because I've heard that you could actually record separate audios and separate tracks, so it'll be easier to actually make a live commentary with DX Tori 
or if I could go with either Fraps or Bandicam, I need to know which which is a great screen capture that I can choose. Of course, there's redstone above there, but I don't care about that for now. All right, let me see. Going now. Oh, look, butter. Butter to the left. I'll leave that there for now. I don't need to pick it up because I don't have any room for it anyway, so it'd be a waste for me to actually mine it up if it cannot be picked up by me. All right, there we go. There it is. All right, mining through. I need to get a brand new desktop desk thing, workstation, because it's all rickety. Makes a lot of noises, especially with my chair. <laughs> oh well. All right. Put a torch there. Put a torch there. Leave that there for now. All right. I need to figure out what I need to say next. I cannot think of another topic to discuss about. Well, I want to do Hunger Games. I know that for a fact, and that was going to be fun with live commentary because I did two Hunger Games, but it wasn't as fun as it would have if I were to do live commentary, especially when you're going to hear your friends rage over being killed. So for me to talk by myself is isn't it's just not gonna have that it's just not gonna have that authenticity type of feeling. And what are people doing on Skype? We keep getting so many messages on Skype. Let me check it out. Okay, just so many messages. Let me see, let me see. Alright, alright. Good to go. So many messages. I guess they're not on on the call right now. But again, if Audacity works with Skype. Let me know. Let me know how the quality is, or if there's something you need to do, or don't do it on Skype because of the fact that my friend said that that what's it called that when he made a video that his friend could be heard in one ear, but he could be heard on the other ear, which really is quite annoying if you try to listen to both of them at the same time. It's kind of like mono one side, mono the other side, instead of stereo for both sides. All right, I love doing this. Just look up, third person angle, and then you can see whether how deep the lava is or what other spots you can see in there. So there's a lot of obsidian. So there may be another void. I'm not too sure exactly. Like I said, I'm going to make a video with another void if I do find one, and it's going to feature lava. So that will be the proof there. And of course, my Silk Touch pickaxe broke. Ah, uh, well. I need to get another one anyways. I'm level 20, so just another 10 levels and I can get another Silk Touch. And once I get to that 1,000 diamond block mark, I'm going to be very happy because I'm going to use Fortune on it and see how many diamonds I can actually get, make a video of it, and then we could rough our estimation there to see the average of how many you get per 1,000. So it would be a good sample use. may not be an official sample use, but it will be a good sample use for making a study or making an examination. Big words here, people. I gotta read a dictionary more often. All right, so this is what it is so far. This is what we have done so far. We need to do a little bit more work. I'm just scouting. This is pretty much like a behind the scenes. Some people wanted to see behind the scenes rather than a finished product, but I'll do both anyways, because I do make vlogs with Minecraft and we're working on the tunnels while I'm vlogging so you can see what the finished product looks like from there and then f that's how it goes I guess and we're back here and that tunnel leads all the way back to the skylight so we did good we did well need to do grammar here there's a lot of things I need to work on but as far as I know I haven't really been saying that much sense fillers probably like three or four if anyone keeps count I wonder if people do keep count of that something to do right there's no shame of it. I know a lot of people like to keep counting some things just to see how many times a person has said this within a given video. Again, no shame in that. I remember one person counted like, I've said this one word so many times, it's like, why are you, why can't you say anything else? It's like, you should learn how to say other words. It's like, okay, I'll take that into consideration. All right, so there we go. Lava pool, hopefully that's another void because it looks like it, not gonna lie. Hopefully it's not one layered. Oh look, diamond. We found diamond. So this is pretty much the end of this video. Hope you enjoy this video. And let's see where we could go on from next week. Hopefully I'll make that one a live commentary. Stay tuned for that one. And I'm going to mine it up once I get my Silk Touch pickaxe. Because I really need another one right now. So with that being said, I am Sword Kings of Ryan Zero. Have a nice day everybody. And I will see you in the next video.